gear. And here's how it works. There is a built-in motion sensor. This is infrared, and for the sake of the show, it happens to be right here. We have set out an area that it's going to read, and that is within this little area in front of me. So if you're over there waving your hands, it's not going to pick up. The sensor is going to pick up in this area, and you'll be able in your home to set those parameters. So whatever works best for you, okay? Distance, width, I believe it's all going to be settable. This is, uh, you know, next generation or future technology, I should say, a prototype but it should be all customizable to your particular situation. So if you look on the screen, you'll see that we do have this really cool globe-shaped user interface. And I'm just kind of swimming my hands in to get a little bit closer into the content. I can also back away from the content if I wish. And then you can move to the left, to the right, all with these, these very simple, very fun hand gestures. What do you think? Is that so cool? Now we're going to go ahead and select some content here to take a look at. And I want to find, let me see, I'm looking for something specific. I want to find this guy. Oh, this is fun. So the corners go red. Once I've selected my content, all I do is swipe my hand to the left and it begins to play. This is 3D content, so it was meant to be viewed the way you're viewing it here right now with the 3D glasses on, on Toshiba's Cell TV. Take a look.